Hello everybody, welcome back to Subsistence with Gazbeard and I'm just watching that deer there. We are going to go after him in a minute. Um, thank you for coming back to us. This is where we left off in the last episode. And we're in September. It's rutting season, so we've got to be careful of the moose. And I'm going to try a deer chase. We've got one hit on him. You stay away from that bear down there. You stay away from that bear down there, Mr. Deer. Missed him. Spooked him. Missed him. See if we can find the arrow quickly without losing sight of the deer. I think the arrow's gone a fair distance up here. I didn't hear it break. We don't want to lose sight of that deer. But I don't want to lose the arrow if I can avoid it. Now, I think the deer's beyond that bush, isn't it? Or did it run up to the top of the hill? I did lose lose eyes on for a moment. I don't know where he went. I don't think he went that way. He's very possibly gone up this way or back up here towards bear country. Oh, there's a crate there. We'll have that though. There he is. We just spooked him. Damn it. We did get too close. Question is, has he? No, he's still up. Ah, it's a level three bear. So we'll try going round this way. See if we can pick up the the deer. There he is. Keep that big tree between him and us. see you. Alright. Go on. Get out of that hollow. Show yourself. Got him. One more hit and he's down. Which way did he go? He didn't go that way, so he must have gone this way. Did he go up there, or did he go over here? Crate across there, there's a crate up here. Oh, 
can't see him. Where's he gone? I don't want to lose him because he's starting to regenerate health now. And the longer it takes for us to find him and get that third arrow into him, the more chance it's going to take four arrows instead of three. We've already lost one arrow that didn't hit him. Um, hello, wolf. This is the worst part about deer hunting. You lose the prey after the second arrow. that we can't afford to take on. What did I... Ah, there it is. Berries. Right, looks like we've lost this... D oh, is that him? It looks like it could be him. He's got... Yes. But he's back up to 40 health, you see. I stopped a fair way back, he saw us and he's running. There he is. Damn it. That's another miss. He's gone up there, so where's that arrow gone? Even though it came in straight on the line that the arrow flew, the arrow's invisible. Oh, I know we're restricted to chicken feathers, but... You would think we would do something sensible to make our arrows findable. On the fence, there he is ahead of us. Got him. He's down, finally. And the whole reason we wanted him was for his antlers. Um, and it looks like we lost all our meats, look. Damn it. Well, I guess we're going to have to eat them. Got our uh, axe out. Let's just hit this tree up. Now we need three antlers to make a batch of adhesive. Three antlers makes five adhesive. And we get through quite a lot of adhesive for different things once the BCU is down. Um... We use it for 
making windows. Um, we use it on certain clothes. We use it for uh, certain weapons and craftings and constructions. So we do need to focus quite heavily on... Did we get that big tree or was it a different one? I think it was that one. Um, we do need to focus quite heavily on collecting antlers for making the adhesive. Um, the moose gives us either three or four antlers. We don't have the ammunition to take the moose down. We're down to two arrows. And to be honest, I don't want to use them. Um, even just to get chickens and rabbits. I'd sooner use fishing to get our meat for tonight. Now we do need to get back to the coast and get washed. Uh, so that we don't get an infection from this blood that's on our hands. There's another deer down there, look. through there. If we had the arrows I would go for him but we haven't so I can't. Oh there's Autastic. We could go to Autastic get some oars. See if there's any lying around. Some iron. Four iron, nice. Wow, very little ore here today. Normally at least four nodes of ores on this stretch of rocks. Wow, we only found one? Are you kidding me? Come on. What's going on? Yeah. Just the one. Wow. Highly unexpected. I see you there, Mr. Bear. Get down to the beach, get our hands washed so we don't get an infection. Hello, Mr. Bear. And then we'll continue looting up as much as we can for filling the chests. Yeah, nails and arrows. Excellent. 
Did I see another? I did see another chest here. A builder's chest. That's put us up to 20 nails so far. Plus whatever we got first thing this morning at the end of the last video. Um, right, we're doing reasonably well for today. Time to... Um, time to start getting some more wood in, I think. beauty of the expansion that we're going to be doing to the the base is that we don't need to rush it um, for example we can just put the foundations down for now and add the walls as and when we're ready We don't need to get them down immediately. Oh, and look at that crazy chest halfway up that rock. And it's an ammunition ch uh, crate, so we definitely want to get that. Can we get it? Oh, have we got any way to get up there? I don't think so. This is one of those rocks that you just don't get up. You have to build to get up there. Um, there is scrap down on the beach though. We'll grab that. In fact, there's several bits. We get this bit. Oh, we're pushing our luck with this bear. Yeah. <laughs> it's alright, Mr. Bear. You just stay there. Yeah. <laughs> well done, good bear. <laughs> right, we'd have to... I, I think to get that crate, we'd have to build something here um, in order to get that high. I don't think there's any way that we can get that. No. We've had the wood out of you. There's a level 3 wolf down there that we don't want to play with. And yeah, I did see that extra crate right down at the far end of the beach past the bear. But I think you'll understand if I say that I don't want to uh, go play tag with the bear just to get that crate. Right. Nice. And I can hear footsteps. Kind of sounds like an animal chasing me type footsteps. But I've not heard any warning growls or anything of that nature. Which wood does that give us? 66. Kind of getting there. You come down there. You come down there. You come down there. Um, your foot over there as well. Anything around here? Uh, medicinal herb. Oh. chance against that wolf to be honest with you really shouldn't have done that that could have turned out very badly Just 
look to see if there's any visible crates across there. I don't see any. Normally at least one or two visible from up here if there's any over there. But I don't see any. Okay, right. Um, let's get back home and offload, get that piece of meat cooked. Looks like the fire has gone out. I'm hoping it's still alight. I don't think it is. But this is another reason why we need to get the BCU down. Is the wood burner will keep going. Oh, copper. Is that our first check? Is the fire still going? No, so we can't. Oh, and iron. So we can't afford to get these. We're not going to lose anything by getting these before we do anything else, so let's just get them. Another iron. Excellent. Get down. And I do see a chest over there now. Right there. So I think a swim across to get that is in order. Especially if we can pick up some kelp on the way there. And we might even get some sandstone on the way back. Builder's chest, nice. 29 nails plus whatever we got first thing this morning which I think was 11 so it puts us on about 40 for the day lots of medicinal herbs here cotton excellent yeah cotton just the one piece but I'll take it all and any cotton is welcome right now. I see berries down here. More medicinal herbs. We need the medicinal herbs for making biofuel. So it's worth getting them while they're available. And we're not that far from home. So Don't see any more. There's fibre down there, but it's about to get very dark very soon. And I really would like to try and get some more um, kelp on the swim back. And we're going to need light to see it, so I don't want to mess around too much there. Oh, what's that? Iron? Yep. Is that kelp? That looks like kelp. Looks like more kelp there. No, it's just a shadow. There is kelp on the other side below below our base. There's sandstone right down the bottom. No, it's not. It's a clam. Get 
Get up, come on. Stuck to the bottom there. I'm gonna take a damage here. Did I see another kelp down there? No, I didn't. I thought I had. I can see a mineable ore down there, though. Or well, what looks... Yeah, it is. Excellent. Another four iron ore. The more of that we can get, the merrier. Come on, get out. There we are. Right, now we're going to have to do a fishing because we need the food. And yeah, we're cold, we know. Cold and wet. getting nibbles out there but they're not consistent. There we are, there's a strike. Uh, and I think that's going to be a small fish but anything that supplements our diet right now is going to be useful. Just a small fish. So we'll put that away and we do need a drink, so let's drink that. Come on. And then refill it before we go in. Um we need to make a biofuel. Have we got any th enough on us. Uh, we might have. Yeah. We make one of those and then we need a fire starting kit. Uh, sticks, we don't have enough sticks on us. Normally I'd batch make the fire starting kits so that we have a load of them. Right, let's uh, put as much of this away as possible. there. Put the pearls away. Put those away. I guess the cotton should stay with the fabrics. Um, we need to eat that. We need to eat that. Beside the fire, get nice and warm because it's really cold. And eat that fish. Wait for that steak cooking. Eat that immediately. 
and as you can see we are low on meats and on fruit and veggies so we're going to need and our health's down because of it so we're going to need to do some animal hunting and some fishing and get these up and get some veggies done we're in october it's still rutting season um how much fuel's in there dropping a little bit do that we're going to have quite a bit of building to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to craft up 10 of those uh, putting in the chest with the rest of the, the crafting materials and we're coming up to sunrise so or coming towards sunrise not coming up to it going to be a little while yet and that'll be the end of another day and what we'll do then is we'll end the video as soon as the sun comes up start each new day at sunrise so in anticipation of that I'm going to thank you already for being here and watching the video hoping you're enjoying the series things should start to gear up very soon because now that we're into October as soon as rutting season's finished I'm going to put the BCU on the back wall and then we'll start crafting up what we need that we can get from the BCU we'll also be pushing to get the front of the base expanded even if it's only the foundations and we don't push the wall out until after the winter um, we may have to we may get no choice on it but we'll see what happens that's sunrise up there now so I'll just top the fire up and move those planks down there as I said, thanks very much for being here. Your company is always welcome. I'll see you in the next video. This is Gasbeard in subsistence on the big lake at the uh, east end of the big lake. The river down from the waterfalls is up there. Cougar country is up there on the, the back of that uh, snowy slope or on the bottom of that snowy slope. So you know where we're at. I'll see you soon. As always for me, it's just bye for now. <laughs>